Hi there, this is David, and welcome back to Let's Play Saga 2. Today we're in the Cave of Light, uh, which is yet another place we have to go through. There's three dungeons in this um, world that we have to go through, and last time we went through the Undersea Volcano, which you have to go through before going through here. Let's see. I didn't do a test run through this place, but I did look at a map. I looked at the map of the uh, Final Fantasy Legend 2 area, so hopefully that should be enough. Also, one of these chests is trapped, so what you want to do is use your disarm trap. There we go. And let's see, go ahead and use our ability. This way we can actually get what's inside and uh, not deal with the explosion. Hey, and we get the mighty shock whip, which is actually quite nice. It doesn't really do any damage, but it's just really nice because it has an unblockable stun. I'm going to go ahead and give this to Ken, which raise up his agility a bit and his HP. And let me move some things around for him as well. Let's put the rocket punch up top. Yeah, we'll put that there. Okay, perfect. Okay, whoa. Moving right along. Ooh, a strength source. Sweet. Yeah, we're getting a lot of those, actually. Let's see. Go ahead and stick that on David. Perfect. What's his strength at now, anyway? Wow, 66 strength. Yeah, that's insane. Oh, here we have a new enemy, the Medusa. They can turn into stone as if that's, you know, a shock to anybody. Uh, let's see, just gonna use that and you. Eh, flame is fine. Um, yeah, fire, whatever. Just kill these guys every which way we know how. Or just and Urania can kill steal it from the people who actually need the stats. That works too. Oh well. I really like the music in here. It's really, really nice. It's one of my favorite scores in the entire game. It's just it's it's fun, it's uplifting, you know? A lot of the times, whenever you go inside of a dungeon, it's somber and dark and scary and all that, but not here. It's a lot of fun. I like it. Okay, so here we got the giant's gloves. Yeah. Let's go ahead and stick that on Kringle there. Um, you already have some armor there, so I don't need to upgrade you with any kind of hand-me-downs. Although, after going through here, I am going to have to stop back at one of the towns and sell some stuff, because I'm still holding on to equipment from, whoa, from uh, the undersea volcano as well. Okay, we're on the fourth floor. Let's see. This place is kind of a circle. And whoa! Oh, wow. Yeah, these guys really need, like, better homing devices on where we actually are. It's almost like they just see you and they charge in one direction. They don't actually, like, chase you properly, you know? Which makes it very easy to dodge all these enemies. Is there anything over here? I don't think that there is. Yeah. In the Game Boy version, there was a treasure chest over there, but... They took it out in this one, I guess, for whatever reason. Okay, the fifth floor. Let's see. Uh, moving right along, nothing really to see here. Let's see, I want to say I want to get down here. Whoa! And then, yeah, some more treasure! Ooh, we get a lightsaber! That's actually a really powerful agility-based weapon. Um, if you have a female human, that'd be very nice to equip on them. But I'm not really using agility-based weapons, so it's fine. Also, you might be wondering, hey, why did you equip that shock whip on your uh, robot whenever it reduced his strength? Well, guns are actually independent of strength, so it really does not matter what the robot's uh, strength stat is if you're just using him for guns. Let's see, here, uh, oh, yeah, there we have our excavation point, I want to go up and grab, I'm gonna have to change my map abilities, though. I kind of wish that whatever map ability you wanted would just kind of appear in the appropriate position without you actually having to change them yourself, but that doesn't seem to be the case. And what do we have? Ooh, a golden nugget! Eh, we'll get into a battle, why not? Poison Moth is new. You know what? Let's have you do nothing. Let's have... I guess you can show off the Shock Whip. Why not? I'll use it on you. Uh, just attack. You. We'll use Flame. And you. 
Um, whatever. It doesn't matter. You. Oh, yikes. They're poisoning us. Oh, great. He's immune. Oh, yeah. Uh, the Durandal, it is immune to change. It has O change, which means that it's immune to all status effects, all status changes. So, uh, using the shock whip on him wasn't exactly my best move ever, but whatever. Can I just have you? Yeah, I guess having him cast sleep is equivalent to him doing nothing. I just want to make sure that my human and mutants get some turns and to hopefully get some stat changes. Ooh, I got a spirit increase. Awesome. It's always nice to have. I really want my human to get some more HP, though. Ugh. Oh well. I should be fine. Okay. Let's see, moving right along through here, let's go up this last path first. And let's see what we got going on here. Ooh, some more treasure! The Revenge Blade! Um, if I recall correctly, what this does is you it has 40 uses, and basically you don't do anything with it. Um, it doesn't actually attack, it just lets you counterattack. So I'm not really a fan, I've got to say. Uh, let's see, we'll have you use SMG. A uh, long sword, let's use a flame, and we'll use a blizzard over here. Yeah, as long as... Ah, Kringle didn't get a hit because Ken's agility is too high. I was gonna say, as long as David and Kringle get a hit, uh, that's all I really care about. Oh well. Over here, what do we have? Uh, hey, the lightning crystal! Sweet! And then let's go over this way. There should be another relic to find. Oh, another excavation point over there as well. Ooh, the Bewitching Incense. And now we get the Stealth Map Ability. If you want to use that, you can. Basically, you use that just like you use every other map ability. And it makes you kind of <clears throat> invisible to monsters for a short period of time. But... Honestly, if you're paying a lick of attention, you should be able to avoid as many monsters as you want to. It's not exactly difficult to, and honestly, I still kind of need to grind. Anyway, we're done with this place. Whoa! And let's see what we got here at this excavation point. You can get four items here as usual. You can get a baradesh, which is an axe, which I totally mispronounced. A chainsaw, that's 50%. You either... Uh, kill it or you miss. You can get throwing coins, which is a bow type weapon. It doesn't actually reduce the amount of coins that you, you know, it doesn't actually reduce your GP or anything. Um, or you can get a gale sickle, which is an agility based weapon, and whenever you use it, you automatically defend. So that's kind of nice. Yeah, this one it only counterattacks, so yeah, kind of useless. You could equip it on your robot. Because later on, we're going to be getting, like, an Attract Attacks ability for him, so I might hold on to that, but it's only times five, um, so still kind of useless. Yeah, not really a fan of that Revenge Blade. Anyway, let's get on out of here, and the exit is the same as the entrance. That's going to be a running theme. Anyway, I'm going to get on out of here, I'm going to go to Lin's Town, I'm going to sell some shit, and uh, I'll use the inn and then meet you there. Okay, I took care of that. I actually put that Revenge Blade in storage, just in case I want to use it later. Um, I sold some other junk that I had, and I used the inn to recharge my abilities and everything. Anyway, oh, wow. Well, here's the mountain cave. That was quick. Oh, this place looks rather small, I must say. And the music doesn't change. What a disappointment. Oh. Ooh, look at the Hermes sandals. And that's it for this cave. Yeah, dead ends right here. Anyway, what I want to do with these Hermes sandals, they're quite nice. It will reduce her strength, but who really cares? But it will increase her agility by 10 points, as well as her, um, her defense power. Yikes! So, yeah, definitely go ahead and stick that on your mutant. So now, hopefully, she'll be able to outspeed, uh, Ken, so that Ken won't, you know, deal with her kills or whatever. So there's actually another entrance to this cave. Yeah, it's shocking. There's actually multiple entrances to a place. Who knew? 
Although, whenever we do leave this next entrance, the exit will be exactly where the entrance was. Yikes! Well, let's just be on our way. Head inside where the world map music stays the same. Yeah. Like, this is really disappointing after having dealt with that great music in the Cave of Light. Now we just have this same old, same old music, you know? Kinda sucks, but whatever. Okay, this point will hold a gold needle and eye drops, a mithril bow, or a mithril shield. And of course, I get the worst, cheapest one, the eye drops. That's just lovely. I will be save scumming for some of these, but again, only the important ones, and that is not an important one. Okay, Yikes. let's see, where's that point? There it is, okay. Ooh, a Spring Breeze Pendant. That is a gift for Calliope, and if I'm not mistaken, I believe it is the last gift for Calliope. Each muse has three gifts, and I want to say I've already given her all the other gifts. Yikes! Oh, we actually have some new enemies. A Sorcerer and a Werewolf. Let's see, Submachine Gun on these guys. You do this. Fire over there. Yeah, I'm having people do nothing. I know. It is what it is. But I want those stat gains! Whoa! Holy crap! Uh, maybe I should have had somebody do something there. Wow, that was, a uh, a lot. <laughs> Whoa, eat, wow! These sorcerers are nothing to sneeze at, man! Well, so much for stat gains on, uh, David there. Yeah. Let's definitely heal him up. Uh, yeah, we can use Urania's cure. It doesn't really matter whose cure I use. And unfortunately, with these ambush chests, like, you don't get anything for fighting the monsters, you know? That would be nice if you got a treasure after, you know, going through that battle, but, eh, no such luck. Anyway, moving right along, let's see. Yeah, this cave, it's very short, it's very simple. Whoa! It's really nothing compared to the Cave of Light. The Cave of Light, although it wasn't as complex, like, they're n none of them are all that complex, um, it was still more complex than this place. Ooh, we get a rocket punch! That would be nice for Ken, but I already have a rocket punch equipped on him. So, yeah. I'll just sell that. There's no need to have two rocket punches on him. And just go up the next path, see what we got going on here. Let's see. Yeah, just narrow, short hallways. Not much to really say about this place. Bad music. Not really a fan of the mountain cave. Whoa, huh. Kind of changed into, uh, like, some ruins almost. It looks different. Hmm. Anyway, down here, let's see. It looks like there's a spot to demolish, so let's go ahead and uh, change our map abilities. Let's see. There we go. I wonder if there's anything behind it, like a treasure chest or anything. And again, I... Okay, this monster, I'm, like, right here, and it's just standing there. It's just, like, it's like, I'm not gonna go after you. It's really ridiculous. They only chase you for a certain amount of time, and then they stop, even if they're, like, right next to you. Uh, doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to me, and it makes monsters even easier to... to, uh, avoid than usual. Okay, here we can get an Orichalcum Spear, a Ninto, which we got... A golden sickle, or no, I'm sorry, a gale sickle, or a fairy staff, which will, um, deal poison damage to all enemies. Oh yeah, this is a katana. Katanas are useless. I don't care about them. I only care about long swords and great swords. So let's move and right along. Huh. What's this? Yeah. If you are underleveled in any way, shape, or form, you might want to save right now, because once you go down here, you'll be kind of screwed. Whoa! Yeah, you can't get out of here. You're just kind of stuck. Whoa! Go down that little waterfall there. Let's see, is there anything over here? Ooh, some treasure! Ooh, an elixir. Nice! Whoa! And then it looks like there's somebody or something over here. Maybe Lynn! Remember Lynn went inside this cave to find some medicine for her mother? I would imagine that's maybe who we're going to find here.
and who are you? Oh, hey, hey, it is Lynn. Oh. Just twist your ankle or something? Oh, the mountain god. I thought that the mountain god was just some wind. Hmm. Hey, hey, and Lynn joins the party. But we already have five party members. We already have Urania. But she just goes home. Yeah. Oh, an important person. Huh. I wonder who that important person is. And Lynn sucks. She is ridiculous. 100 HP, are you kidding me? And she has fully charged punches and kicks. So, essentially, Lynn can do absolutely nothing. Because fully charged, um punching weapons and all that, they don't do anything. You have to use them like 50 times for them to actually deal any sort of damage whatsoever. So do not count on Lin to help with this mountain god coming up next time on Let's Play Saga 2 Goddess of Destiny. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day.